Hi everybody, welcome to another example reading. I've got an exciting lesson for you today to learn a bit more about the fingerprints. But firstly, we're going to look at this lady's hands and we're going to see those signs of travel abroad. So that was the first thing that stood out for me was that she uh, she's 41 and she said that she uh, moved from one country to another uh, about 20 years ago. So she actually does have the mark on her lifeline where the lifeline splits. So life is traveling in one direction and then it goes over here. So the breaks, the breaks in your lines always mean something ending. So this, this part here ended and this part here started. So that is one of the first signs of travel abroad and not just travel, but uh, permanent, permanent emigration, immigration, immigration. Sorry, don't know my words. So the second part that showed the change is that the fate line changed as well. She does have two fate lines showing two interests in her life, which is also true because she does have a, a regular career, but then she has another another um, activities that she does likes to do, which I'll talk about later. But that shows a change. It shows the two careers in the fate two fate lines and it shows a change where the fate line shifts. It's more prominent on the right hand, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, what other things stood out for me was this long headline. Long headline always shows somebody who makes decisions based on logic and reasoning, and they like going into details quite uh, quite a lot. And the other thing with this headline is that it's separated completely from the lifeline. And that is a sign of independence. And in her case, she is separated from the family because she was adopted. So that is one of the signs of adoption is if the headline is separated from the lifeline. Next, we have the, um, I just wanted to talk about the skin texture. When I zoomed into her hands, that the skin texture was very clear and she's got good, like coarse ridge patterns. Not core, not really coarse, but coarser than, than I'm used to seeing. And that shows very robust, energetic person with good health. Um, they might lack a bit of sensitivity towards others, so they're um, not not as um, absorbent of people's sensitive like energies. But uh, it shows somebody who's well grounded, active, and usually these people are hardworking and very motivated by the uh, texture of the skin. So that also shown I can tell. At a glance at the texture of the skin because there's not that many lines there's only a few minor stress lines and this area is clear the amount of venous is quite clear most of the mounts have very few lines they're quite clear so that that gives the person the those qualities that I've just mentioned and also the clear lines. I'll get onto the new picture. So I'll talk about the clear lines. There we are. So when the lines are clear like this, the same as on her left hand, and, and that there is not many of them stress lines all over the hand. It's just quite easy to read and they, they're crisp. There's no branching and and carrying on. Some of them do, but like the main lines there are very clear, especially the lifeline. And that shows somebody who who repeatedly thinks along the same lines. So they they have stable experiences in their life and they 
they, they stay on track with, with their thinking. And showing here again, the headline does separate from the lifeline, that independent nature, and the headline is very long. In fact, she has, it goes all the way to the other side, but there is a kind of like a, a split, a joining line from the outside. So she has the ability to make those logical decisions and also her thoughts coming from the outside in. So her, her thinking might be a little bit out of the box, so to speak. So it term confirms again that signs of travel abroad here again, the lifeline stops, lifeline ends, but it is overlapping and it starts over here. So that's the, the new, the new um, phase in her life and it's confirmed with the overlapping of this fate line. So she has second fate line starting, so it's shifted over. So the second fate line starts on another part. So that shows a certain part of her life ending and another one starting there. Another thing I wanted to mention, she has this, uh, what's often called the passion line. She has it on the left hand too. I just didn't point it out. I had too many lines on there. This passion line, um, that belongs to somebody who is usually creative in their in their nature. So they passionately go after their work, whether it's something creative or, or not, but um, it shows that passionate nature for that. I think that's all I was uh, going to mention there. So um, let's move on to her fingerprints. So it was nice to see these fingerprints on this lady's thumbs. She has the whirls, which we talked about in my previous videos, and she has one of each type. So on her, I think this is her left hand, she has the concentric whirl, which literally has a little bullseye. Oh, my pen's not working, of course. That's a horrible looking bullseye. That's like a little two-year-old just drew that. That's all right. So there, that pretend that's a two-year-old drawing a bullseye. So that is the concentric well. And this one is more of the spiral well where it just spirals around. But she has the perfect well each on each thumb. And as if you've watched my previous video, the well is um, known by the they have a tri -rad radius on either side of all the circles. So that's how you know that it is a whirl and not a loop. Because uh, sometimes they can have a mixture of shapes in the thumbs. But these are just the perfect examples of the bullseye concentric whirl and the plain spiral whirl. I've got the fan on. It's so hot in here. I hope, um, hope it's not affecting the sound. Anyway, so the, the whirls are, are great to see on the thumb. It shows someone with leadership skills, shows someone who's very individualistic and individualistic. They can be very focused and determined. They're usually very responsible people, responsible in family, responsible in their career, like all around. And um, if there's many of them, they have a desire to um, help others in the world. And next, this is the interesting part of her index fingers. She has what's called that radial loop on both of her index fingers. The loops are the most common of the fingerprint patterns and it shows someone who's caring, they love their family, they're easygoing, they always open loop shows that open mindedness they're sometimes a little bit less focused than uh, the people with uh, many worlds and uh, they they'd like to tend to change change um, their routine a bit more they do get bored a little bit quicker when you have the loops so um, I've sort of drawn it 
with the Nikko pen there on the on the right hand side because you probably can't see it. But yeah, basically there is no trirad eye on that side. There's only one on this corner here. And then it just loops around thusly. So that is the loop that normally the uh, why well it's called the radial loop because if if this is the the thumb side over here so the opening goes to the thumb side and the loop faces away from the thumb so the normal ulnar loop the top of the loop faces towards the thumb and the opening faces away from the thumb this radial loop now I've got a really messy 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 um, picture this radial loop is a little bit different to the regular loop, especially when it's on both of her index fingers. And that takes takes that openness from the, the loop meaning to kind of like caring for others' needs first. Like in the family, she would put the others' needs before her own needs. And that's basically based on the left hand. If it's on the right hand, it's putting the needs of your work or your passion first, or maybe nature. And this is what I was going to talk about, that she says that she um, is planting trees, like doing a, uh, what did she say, food, food, food for trees. Food forest, that's it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so she's um, she's planting trees for, for nature purposes. And then so, so that's showing she's putting nature before selfish things for herself. So she's looking at the importance of nature. And that that gives a, a slightly different twist to the to the loop. So it, it it changes to a more individual personality, much like the world. So, and it makes them a little bit more questioning. They question everything in life. They they explore concepts. They go into different things. They tend to go against the majority. So, and they speak up for their own concerns. So they like to stand out from the crowd a little bit. And because it is on both of her index fingers, I believe that um, it really accentuates that character in her that she likes to um, literally understand um, things, concepts and things that, that ordinary people might not. The other difference um, with the ulnar loop and the radial loop is um, the ego is a little bit um, stronger on the ones with the radial loop. And they would be generally not the traditional type, so non-traditional non in, their, in their character. So I just wanted to point out um, how to know if it is a loop because sometimes the there's different there's different ones there's like tented arches and things like that tented loop arches etc so the way to know that it is definitely a loop is that the tri radius is off center <clears throat> it's not in the middle so if you were to look at the tri radius to be I'll just change my pin if it was here then the loop would go around and that would be called the tented arch. And um, in this case, yes, the triradius is off center, always sits over to one side of the loop. Okay, so now we've got one more interesting fingerprint and this is the peacock eye whirl. I've got a sort of a uh, picture planted on top of the um, fingerprint to the right there to make it a little bit more clear. 
Now there is a tri radius on there's two of them which makes it a whirl. If there's only one, it, it, it's a loop. But because there are two, there is one to the side off center, and then there's one that holds this pocket of whirls up higher. So they're not if this is a regular whirl, it would have the tri radius down here opposite the one to the right. But because the the tri radius is holding this pocket of whirl and it is a bullseye whirl, it looks like an eyeball. Look at that peacock eye. That looks beautiful. Do we draw a beak on it? Do they have a beak? What kind of a beak do they have? <laughs> Probably not like that. Anyway, there, there, there's my peacock. And uh, you might have some feathers up there. Okay, so peacock eye whirl. Now this lady, we had a little bit of a mm, not sure, not sure, because her, yes, she does have the uh, tri radius to the right. And the tri radius is like almost opposite. So, and the fact that there's not an actual eye, it's a swirl, it is a spiral. But looking at it and enough, it is still got the tri radius that's holding the pocket, and it still has the eye. So the peacock might not be as uh, glamorous as that one, but I think this peacock can still can still work as a uh, peacock. <laughs> peacock I well peacock spiral eye well that's is what I've now decided to call it peacock spiral eye well because of that um, the same having that tri radius holding the the pocket of swirl up there so yeah what do you think of that now the meaning of it is quite exciting some people like to the original meaning of a peacock eye is that it is belongs to someone who's very lucky. They have a strong self, sense of self-preservation, like in um, dangerous um, circumstances and things like that. So it's people like that have known to have survived um, accidents and like just somehow um, been in the right place at the right time, such like that. And um, I see it as somebody who's highly perceptive and uh, intuitive. I think they are very observant in, in things. They can be artistic or creative. Um, I think it does show a bit of leadership as well, much like the whirl on, uh, on the thumb. See, this is on the ring finger. So that meaning for the luck, I should have mentioned earlier, the meaning for the luck and self-preservation, it's when it's found on the ring finger. And this is where it is on this lady. So uh, that is also the ring finger also stands for creativity. So that is a sign of a very creative person, someone who is meticulous in their work. So even if they're not an artist or they don't draw or things like that, but they're very meticulous in their work so that that um, um, show, shows in when they're doing something. They're not necessarily like in schoolwork and things like that. It just depends on other, on the other um, signs on the person. Because my son has this mark and he wasn't that meticulous in certain subjects at school, but other subjects he was very meticulous and very um, artistic with his work. So it um, basically shows somebody who experienced their life in awe of and wonder of um, everything that goes on. And uh, that's a lovely sign to have. And um, and um, hope, I think that's all I can say. I hope you're happy with this lesson. I'll just make sure I don't have another picture. I don't think I do. Looks like that's all we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed that lesson and let me know if there's any particular thing that you would like to learn about and I'll um, do a uh, video presentation on that for you. Thanks a lot. Catch you later.
Bye.